Hey guys, it's Mike Sealer, Broker of Record with Century 21 in Studio Realty. And I want to take a quick minute to show you guys how to use Gmail filters. So the purpose of Gmail filters is to help save you time and help organize your inbox. I'm going to start at the bottom here. This is an email from my mother-in-law. And uh, so basically every time I get an email from my mother-in-law, I want a couple of things to happen. Um, I'm going to click on the email first. I'm going to go over here to more and I'm going to go filter messages like this. So the only parameter I'm going to put in at the moment is anytime I get an email from my mother-in-law here, uh, I'm going to apply this filter to it. So I'm going to click on this link down here. And so here are my options when I get an email from her. I can skip my inbox and go straight to archive it, which wouldn't make me a good son-in-law. I could uh, mark it as red, star it. Um, but what I want to happen is I want to apply a certain label to it. So I'm going to click on apply label and I'm going to choose my label. So I, here's how I organize my inboxes. All my ones are for real estate. All my twos are personal. And I don't have um, a box for her in particular. I'm just going to click on personal though. So any emails that come from my mother-in-law are going to have the label personal applied to it. Um, that's pretty much all I want to happen. I'm going to apply it to four other emails that have her email associated with it. I'm going to click on that and create filter. So now back in my inbox, you can see that this email now has this gray box attached to it that more or less is saying that it is filed there. It's still showing up in my inbox, um, but it is uh, also has this tag on it. So the next one, um, this comes from my, uh, from my church. The secretary at the church sends me out a weekly bulletin. Um, she also sends me other communications. So uh, this is a little bit more advanced, but um, I'm going to give you an example here. So I want this church built bulletin that comes every week. I don't necessarily want to read it, but I want it to be in a folder. Um, so I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on more filter messages like this. And instead of just filtering messages, all the messages from secretary at southendchurch.com, I want to put in has the words, and then I'm going to put in bull, it, bulletin. Um, and I'm going to create a filter. So any emails that come in from secretary at South End Church that has the word bulletin, what's going to happen? I want to skip the inbox. I just I don't want it to come to my inbox. Uh, I'll know where it is when I want to read it. So I'm going to skip my inbox and I'm going to apply a label to it. And I'm going to scroll down to number two again. And I have personal and a church folder. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to apply it to the other emails she sent that have bulletin in them and create filter. Now, if I go back to my inbox, that email is no longer here because it, it performed that filter for me. Now, if I were to go down to personal and church and click on that, I would see there's that email, South End Bulletin, right? So let's go back to my inbox. So my mother-in-law is still here because I didn't have it directly go into the filter uh, or into that, um, that category. So here's one, here's another example, okay? Uh, this is for my copier machine at the office. Uh, once a month they send me an invoice and I really, I don't want to see this invoice. I want this invoice to actually go directly to my office administrator. So let's work on that. I'm going to click on that, go to more, filter messages like this. So any email from uh, coat t at gillespiedigital.com, um, we are going to go create filter and I want to skip my inbox. I want to apply a label to it. Um, we're going to put this under, under 
um, maybe management Century 21 building. So that's my office management stuff. And But I also want to forward it to Norma, who's my um, office administrator. Okay, so every time I get an email from these guys, I'm not going to see it in my inbox. It's going to get filed, so I, I do have it in my email. Plus, it's going to get forwarded to Norma to be paid. I'm going to apply that to my other conversations, and I'm going to create the filter. Now you can see down here it is gone, right? Um, I think um, that's all for examples on here. You get a pretty good understanding of uh, how you can apply these filters. So now there's one final step that uh, if, if you get into the habit, so I, I don't have filters applied to this email, this one, this one, and I'm going to do that. But assuming I've read all these and they all have filters, I'm going to select on the, the emails that have filters attached to them. And so now instead of individually dragging them into the appropriate box, I can select on all of them that have the filters. And I can click on archive. And now it's going to archive it in the appropriate uh, box. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I hope you start using it because it's actually a really good time-saving tool. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.